it's over. One of the biggest manhunts in New York history ended today with the arrest of the suspect cops believe carried out the subway mass shooting that caused utter terror during rush hour. While making his way to New York, the suspect filmed himself in a rented van, clearly full of anger. Les Trent begins our coverage. They got him. The madman who cops say unleashed havoc on a New York subway train was captured today wandering around Manhattan. The NYPD says tips started pouring in after they released a wanted poster for the suspect, Frank James. A civilian spotted him walking down Canal Street in Lower Manhattan. Another witness saw him at this McDonald's. Police responded to the report that the suspect was inside this McDonald's, but when they got here, he was not inside. They did, however, find him just a few blocks away, and you will not believe what he was doing. Witnesses say the man who allegedly wreaked so much havoc on this city was simply standing right here, charging his phone. I see. I see the guy. We catch the guy, man. The arrest at 1.42 p.m. was captured on video by multiple bystanders. You ought to die. You ought to be. James is 62 years old, a drifter who posts angry videos on YouTube under the moniker Prophet of Truth. I am driving, I am driving, I am driving. A day-by-day -day timeline is emerging from the video diary. Last month, he was living in Milwaukee when he suddenly packed up and drove to Philadelphia. I'm heading back into the danger zone, so to speak. You know, um, and it's triggering a lot of negative thoughts, of course. From Philadelphia, cops say he rented a U-Haul van and drove to New York. That's the van crossing the Verrazano Bridge in Brooklyn the morning of the subway attack. In this exclusive surveillance video obtained by WCBS, we see a man who looks like Frank James disguised as a construction worker walking to the subway to allegedly carry out the bloody assault. Notice he's carrying a tote and wheeling around a bag that police say contained a hatchet, two gas canisters, a 9mm handgun with three extended magazines, also a stash of fireworks that he bought in Wisconsin. And here's the receipt. He paid $14.99 for a six-pack of smoke bombs. He was talking to himself the whole time. Subway passenger Fachim Jalasji says he was sitting across from the suspect on the end train when the attack commenced. He was just shooting boom, boom, boom. I was like, whoa, this guy's crazy. He says the man pointed the gun at him and fired twice, leaving bullet holes in his pants. Only by some miracle was he not hit. Oh, I gotta say, I'm lucky to live. That's all I'm gonna say. I got really lucky. Cops say James fired 33 times into the subway car, hitting 10 people. The subway station where the mayhem took place is open today, and as you can see, the platform has been scrubbed clean of blood. <laughs> the subway attack has not helped New York City's battered image as the city fights rising crime and the pandemic. Real Housewives of New York's Bethany Frankel says she's fed up with the crime. New York City is not safe. You've got to take the handcuffs off the police, flood the system, do stop and frisk, and return some civility to the subway system. That's our veins and arteries. If you don't, Sean, New York City will never recover. But today, there is relief in the city as the suspect in Tuesday's rush hour nightmare is apprehended. My fellow New Yorkers, we got it. We got it.